Okay, now, uh, for this second column, we have become the, uh, we have become the, uh, not, no longer the cafeteria worker, but now we are the kindergarten teacher. In other words, now we have a different uh, candy bar to kindergartner's disbursement protocol in which um, the, 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 the candy bars are just delivered in a big pile to the teacher, and the kindergarten teacher is going to divide up the piles. But now the kindergarten teacher is actually going to hand the objects to the students, and so now which uh, person gets which bag is therefore highly relevant. And that's why every one of these uh, uh, um, problems in this second column have containers distinguishable, which is to say the containers now are the kindergartners, the kids themselves, who are all distinguishable from each other. And so now it matters who, with, which kid gets which bag, so to speak. Okay, uh, well, what's the situation? Our objects are indistinguishable. And so we have just N Snickers bars, so we're assuming now that the bars are all the same. Um, and we have K uh, kids, um, and not empty, so this is no uh, kid can get an uh, a empty bag. So this is pretty nice. Everyone's getting the same uh, kind of candy bar, and no one's getting nothing. But it's still not fair, because uh, one kid can get like a lot of bars, and one kid could just get one bar. How many ways are there to do this? Well, this should be a familiar problem, right? We're just trying to figure out, uh, if we have all the kids, how many ways are there to, to give everyone uh, uh, to distribute these bars? Well, think of it like this. If every kid has to get at least one bar, then let's first of all just give every kid uh, a candy bar, a Snickers bar. If we, give it, if we give every kid a Snickers bar, looking for a particular marker, if we give every kid a Snickers bar, then there are n minus k um, bars uh, remaining. Uh, and if there are n minus k bars uh, remaining, uh, then now, after I've met my condition that every kid has to give at least one bar, I can distribute them however I want. So now the problem it reduces to the number of ways of passing out n minus k bars to the k children uh, where there are no rules. And this is just a stars and bars problem. So, uh, what you now do is you think of these, I'll call them vertical lines, not bars, dividing up the, uh, the K children. So I have uh, K uh, minus one uh, of these uh, uh, vertical, uh, vertical lines. Uh, and now it's simply a matter of Yo, distribute your n minus k stars indiscriminately uh, in and amongst those k minus one vertical lines, and the number of ways there are to do that uh, is the number of ways of passing out the remaining n minus k bars uh, uh, to the kids. Okay, and so this is going to be uh, how many uh, characters do I have in this string? Well, I have. Uh, k minus 1 vertical lines uh, plus uh, n minus k stars, the stars being the remaining uh, Snickers, uh, choose k minus 1. And uh, that can be simplified a little bit uh, more nicely into n minus 1, k minus 1. I hope this is uh, clear. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, how about now? Now the objects are indistinguishable, so they're still just N Snickers bars. N uh, Snickers bars. Um, but you're still the kindergarten teacher, so you still care which kid gets which bag. Uh, so you have K kids, and the K kids are all distinguishable from each other. But now a bag can be empty, so you can just look one of those little freaking kindergartners in the eye and just be like, you get nothing. Or even better, hand them an empty bag uh, with no candy bars in it and say, that's your lunch. Uh, if that's permitted, uh, well then this becomes just an easier problem even, right? Because now this is just original stars and bars. Uh, so now we have uh, the, the, the K uh, uh, kids uh, divided up into, well, I'll just use the same picture above. Uh, we have the K minus one vertical lines, and now we just distribute the Snickers bars all in and amongst these bars, even potentially giving all N Snickers bars to just one kid is, is, a, is a viable option. Uh, so this is just uh, going to be 
uh, I have k minus one uh, of these vertical lines, and I have uh, n Snickers bars, which are the stars, so that's the number of total characters in this string. Uh, choose, um, it doesn't matter what you do, choose, choose k minus one. So uh, that's the, the, the solution to that. Okay, two more. Uh, la, 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 la. All right, now, um, all right, what's changing now? Now the objects are distinguishable. So you have n totally different uh, bars, uh, different candy bars, and we still have k kids. Uh, and so now the objects are totally different, but the containers are distinguishable, which is to say that the kids are distinguishable from each other, so you, it, it matters which kid gets which bar, or, or, or which, which bar is in which bag, I guess. Uh, and uh, maybe the bags have the kids' names on them already, so you know as you're placing a bar into a bag which kid you're giving it to. The containers are distinguishable, but uh, no bag can be empty. Uh, okay, well, this is actually a harder version, so to speak, of this problem. In this problem, the objects were distinguishable, they were all different bars, the containers were indistinguishable, and he, now the containers are distinguishable. Well, I think there's a clear relation between these two problems, uh, which is that in this case, if you're the kindergarten teacher, um, uh, one way to solve this problem is to ask the cafeteria worker in advance to just like prepare uh, the n totally different, that sucks, that says n totally different Snickers bars, and totally different candy bars is what I meant to say from 10 minutes ago. Um, we have the n totally different, ask the cafeteria worker to prepare the n totally different candy bars uh, in advance and then um, into bags where no bag can be empty. And now you're going to receive, as the kindergarten teacher, the bags already laid out, but the bags have no particular names on them. And now your job is just to distribute the bags, which is to say, for every possible way there is to, dis to, to um, split up the n different candy bars into k different bags, uh, for every one of those different ways of creating the bags, so to speak, there are then still k factorial ways to um, uh, permute those bags in a particular order so that each one can be uh, passed out to the k different kids. Uh, another way of putting it is, there are k factorial ways of, uh, of, of labeling the, the, the k bags with the, the k names of the k students. And so, to solve this problem, we take the solution to, to the corresponding containers indistinguishable problem, and then simply multiply uh, by all the possible ways of ordering the containers. Okay, now in the final uh, uh, problem, we have objects are indistinguishable, so we have n totally different uh, candy bars, um, and we still have k kids, and now we're still the kindergartner teacher, so the objects are still distinguishable, we can tell which kid is which. But now um, we could have uh, an empty uh, container. In other words, you can, you just have a giant bag of candy bars, and you're just walking around the room, and you're just giving the candy bars out to whichever kid, including you can give a kid no candy bar. Well, now this suddenly becomes easier again, because ultimately, if you have n different candy bars to pass out to the kids, but there's no requirement that every kid get at least one bar, then ultimately, each bar can go to whichever kid you want. And so, take the first candy bar, the Milky Way, who should it go to? Well, you have uh, K choices, uh, because you have K children, you can give it to whichever child you want. Now go to the, the Three Musketeers. Who should the Three Musketeers go to? Well, once again, you have K choices. You can give it to any one of the K children. And you just do that on a bar by candy bar by candy bar basis. You just give it to any one of the K children. And so what you're in fact doing is just you have um, uh, K choices uh, for each of the N candy bars. And so this is K to the N. Okay. Um, a couple of these. We already knew how to do before today. It was really just, actually it was really just this one, this one, and this one. Um, but now with the expansion of our vocabulary to these partition numbers and to sterling numbers of the second kind, combined with some other sort of counting principles, we now have a solution to sort of all eight uh, possibilities uh, uh, regarding the, the, the containers, 
the, um, the objects and whether the containers are permitted to be empty. These are called occupancy problems. Uh, and then there's going to be some homework on this. All right. Goodbye.